Hello, welcome back to my channel, Parents Tarot. Thank you for tuning in. I will do tonight a quick reading. Um, as you might have seen already in the news, Catherine has been a, uh, admitted to hospital. And usually I don't do a health readings, but as soon as I read it, I thought, hmm, my cards were quite odd the last few readings. And I uh, usually don't do health readings, but I will have a look tonight, yeah. Uh, let's see what uh, the cards will tell us about Catherine and her uh, health situation. And just have a look. Maybe the cards want to tell something totally different. Could be as well. And I will have a look and see what the cards show. So this is about Catherine self. I will cut the cards. I shuffled them already. So overshadowing the whole reading is, oh, justice. Major Arcana, there's something serious going on. Justice is normally about um, also being faithful and also be on the right side and also being justified for what is happening. So this uh, admission was had to be done. There was no escape out of it. So as soon as the media reports, that means there is something serious going on. Otherwise, they wouldn't report at all. They would keep it stumm. But as uh, in the news article I read, it said she will stay there two weeks. And two weeks is quite a long time for just a abdominal surgery. I don't know what the details are but let's see what the cards show the center is the chariot the victory card cancer card uh, i was just thinking in that second if she ha might have had cancer or like a two two more or something and the cancer card shows up also a major arcana behind that is a real battle a huge battle is going on the knight of swords so swords is also surgery, but also uh, air sign or air energy. So, but it's like as there was a battle beforehand, before she went uh, to hospital or they decided that she should take care of that, what is, what the illness is. Let's put it like that. Uh, you see, I have now a different, uh, I have a tablecloth. It's actually uh, not, oh, healing sign. Because some people or one person, thank you for my, very much for uh, um, the hint uh, that um, the last time when I didn't have a tablecloth that, uh, you know, you couldn't see the cards. But I hope you can see it now better. The sun, sun is healing. It's uh, going into the future. This is the future. This is the past. And the future is... Um, so either the sun is normally a positive card, also a major arcana, and normally this would be that she will heal. But it could also say that uh, it suggests normally that something is being uh, illuminated. It, there is a shine on it. Yeah, so that maybe that we are informed, the public. Below that is the Garden of Eden, the Nine of uh, Pentacles. The Nine is kind of huge challenge before fulfillment. This is a person who is uh, in abundance. Here, because the underlying card was justice, I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, please don't get me wrong, but we have to be serious about and realistic about the things what's going on it could be that she is kind of as a precaution already somehow how drafting her testament or will sounds strange because this is all about money watch the possession she, uh, she has this is an earth card and i say nine as you know my long time viewers last challenge before fulfillment Above that is the seven of pentacles. So there is somehow 
this is normally somebody who has to work very hard because uh, as this is about her health it is more like it is uh, it is not an easy uh, peasy uh, surgery she has to somehow fight I don't mean that she's in a coma or something like that but it is not like um, it could be because it's earth that she has to change her way of living in the sense you know uh, look what food she's eating now if uh, more organic I don't know uh, we never know uh, what she's normally eating but it would be that there will be strings attached now to her health to her eating habits because there is something with with her body because earth is also our body but as you see uh, i don't do reverse card readings but uh, all cards are not badly aspected you could say the knight of swords is kind of a let's say a, a bad card but it is more neutral it is not um, like the other cards so now we will have a look into the future so there is a kind of a challenge in front of her she has to struggle and battle a bit and let's see oh the hanged man also major arcana she has a lot of major arcanas here so this is very serious it's not uh something light-hearted don't believe the media what they are telling they are not only telling what they are allowed to tell and uh, anyway this is something very personal and uh, intimate because it is her health and it's uh, it's her decisions. But the hanged man is somebody who's in suspension, who can't make decisions in the sense that she has to trust the people or the, the medical staff, surgeons, nurses, everybody who's involved in that. To uh, she herself can't do at the, uh, anything at the moment. There is, she doesn't have the knowledge in a sense to get out of the situations. She has to put her trust, her trust in the healing or health professionals because she's suspended. She can't make her own decisions in the sense because she doesn't have the expertise. Oh. Ten of Swords. And I will take the next one. Page of Swords. Uh, so... Normally, the uh, Ten of Swords is uh, um, uh, is ruin, is an ending. It's a ten, and um, it means here in this reading, her lifestyle will totally end, and uh, this is not the only surgery she will have. It seems like that there will be a bigger surgery coming up, and also a smaller surgery. Uh, how should I put it? I don't know. But if she has something with cancer or some tumor, could be also a positive cancer. Not all cancers are neg uh, negative or deadly or so. It means just that there is something in your body which has to be removed. So this could lead, uh, could mean that there will be some other spreads I, um, of these tumors in her body. It's not only the, uh, the stomach or the, uh, 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 the belly or abdominal, they said. I am not sure which part of that is. But it seems like as if there will be some smaller ones uh, somewhere in her body which will be removed as well. And her total life will change. So good thing is I didn't get the death card because this is more cruelty. Of course, you know, if you are suspended, this is also all negative and the aspected, by the way. It's like you are in the hands of other people. You are not uh, the person who can make decisions. Of course, you can always make your decisions. But here in the sense you have to trust the medical profession, professions and it looks like as uh, this is not the only surgery she will get. She will have 
uh, another one and maybe another one as well. There's nothing else which the cards tell me. And that's the situation as it is now. When she has her surgeries, we will uh, look again into the cards and see uh, how the healing process is going on. And um, I will do now a second reading. So this is for the status as it is at the moment. Uh, poor Catherine, you know, I wish you all the best. Hopefully she will heal soon, but I won't look deeper into it because it's very personal and uh, it's not... Not for me to look into that so too much or too deep into it. And I saw also that Prince Charles, or not Prince Charles, King Charles now, I uh, will have some <clears throat> kind of uh, hospital uh, stay as well because there is something with his prostate, but somehow they... I read only the uh, headline, some enlargement, but you have to remember he's approaching 80 and uh, sorry, it is like it is. Uh, the older you get, the more health issues you might get. Uh, not everybody, but some people. So some cards dropped, I will take them and I will put them into the center, all three. Now I will look if, uh, because I did some readings if Kathleen will become queen and the cards were always not that positive and with a clear yes and I will check that today again. Will Kathleen become queen? So I shuffle the cards, I will cut the cards, overshadowing the whole reading. Is the lovers Gemini energy two people? together the couple major arcana again so this is overshadowing the reading this is kind of a choice a choice card but the couple is there so man and woman uh, husband and wife so this is uh, either positive nor negative yeah either nor my i mean so the three cards in the middle oh the five of pentacles the moon and the empress i will take this as a center card the empress is the mother a fruitful mother nature it is the mother she's a mother the moon are the people this is more like uh, also delusions and also could be depression and so on because it's the five of pentacles here and i'm asking if she becomes queen the five of uh, pentacles is like being lonely and uh, this is, has nothing to do with her health now it is more like she knows now that she is alone in that position. If she becomes queen, she will be lonely. Uh, what I mean by that uh, is uh, we are not in that circle. And there are quite a lot of intrigues in the, in the um, monarchies. Uh, you can look up history. There was a lot. And you see one couple intriguing already and uh, poking and being nasty to Catherine and it's Harry and Meghan. So um, she knows that this will be a lonely status, even though she has a husband by her side, he will be king. But she, is, she knows also that she, this is a lonely position. The moon, she will be ex especially, she has uh, some trust issues uh, with the people around her but she's firm and she's the mother nature so she is quite a, a motherly type even if you don't realize that or see it like that of course when she was younger she was a party princess we would say but who was that not in their youth you know that's what you why you are, you are young enjoy life party spent all the dosh you have and then get more serious so behind that is oh the five of uh, cups emotionally she is also a bit discouraged 
We have two fibers here. This means that she has left her feelings behind. It is like when you are a monarch, it is more like you have to leave your old life behind and be more detached. What I be, mean by detached with, uh, detached by, uh, with your feelings, because the decisions you take, they have a huge effect and you can't always make emotional decisions. So the next card, looking into the future, Page of Cups, she will have a bit of luck always. Luck is coming her way. Not bad. So below that is the magician. She has, do you know, I said in my, uh, uh, I don't know, a few readings ago, that she um, learned a lot and grew into her role. And the magician is the master manifester. He has, or she, has all the tools uh, needed to conquer and manifest anything. So that's what I mean. She has grown into a role. She is really good with that. She has managed to learn to be a queen. Oh, the world great cycle is closing. Uh, you could say this is also an ending card, but her old life. With this card, I would say she will become queen. Does look good uh, it's, as it stands now, yeah? Uh, she will have a full circle and her whole world will change. Very good card. Stinginess, Four of Pentacles. So that means here, because it looks into the future, she will have luck, she will get some money, but she, uh, she will be now in the public eye. That means she has to balance her books. She has to... Um, Check her spending now because she will have, of course, she has already access to the royal uh, um, fortunes. But as soon as she is queen, she has to guard herself with her spending because what the royal family has, it is for eternity, for the future. The funds and the money has to be banished for the future gener generations. So, oh, they will start. Uh, this is a foundation tree of pentacles again, money card. And this is starting a new foundation, something, a new business. You could say that uh, being a, a queen then is a new business. Yeah, for her, yes. And the page of wands, fire energy. She will make some changes, some, uh, she will take some actions. And but they won't be that huge actions. It's not like that she will come in and turn the monarchy into something different. These are small changes step by step. There will be changes, but she is not the one who decides the changes. It's like a triplicity, three people, maybe, you know, uh, of course, her husband. I don't know if... Uh, Queen Camilla will still be there when she becomes queen or uh, uh, King Charles definitely not except he, uh, ex uh, he abdicates but it will be three people maybe they have like a consultant or somebody but three people make the decisions maybe it is already when she becomes queen that uh, Prince George is uh, already a bit more mature maybe he will be involved but this means uh, the decisions they take or the business they start the monarchy it will involve three and also it will be what she does Catherine princess Catherine it will be small changes not the huge you know coming in and like Meghan Markle who wanted to turn the whole royal family, I don't know, into a uh, American corporation. It doesn't work like that, yeah? So this is the status. So, so far as I see, she will become queen and then we will see how it unfolds in a future reading when I look again into her situation. So now I will look into Meghan Markle. Quick read, this was, will be very quick. How does she feel about Princess Catherine being uh, admitted to hospital and having a surgery and what 
you know what she's going through at that at this time and how does Catherine feel about uh, not her Catherine sorry about that I mean Meghan Markle the Duchess of Sussex how does she feel uh, has she heard the news I suppose yes how does she feel about that will she try use this her situation to get you know you know um, a narcissist, you know, they use every situation to their advantage. Now she's the carer or somebody like that, you know. <clears throat> that she is full of empathy and wants to help uh, Catherine. You will see, overshadowing the whole reading, how does Meghan Markle feel about Catherine now? Oh, the Wheel of Fortune. Hmm. It is like everything is turning around. Her feelings because I'm asking her how she feels she is now it's more like that she's changing her strategy you know you can't make this up the wheel is turning it's like turning for her as well maybe she sees this as a good thing maybe she imagines that uh, Catherine will uh, leave the earth plane and there is no way for her to become queen I don't know Meghan Markle has some higher ambitions as and you have to see it's with a narcissist how narcissist, uh, narcissists are they have no empathy so it could be you know they don't care so why not uh, then marry her uh, brother-in-law oh the emperor she, you know i haven't seen the cards before no <laughs> she thinks the emperor is will become single that's what is going on in her mind Behind that, it's a battle, five. It's like, this is a win or a lost battle. A won battle or a lost battle. It seems like, because this is in background, either she sees this as her battle, as she's winning the battle or losing the battle. We will see. The five of, again a five, a five of pentacles, fives are small challenges before fulfillment. Uh, no, small challenges to the next step. The nine are the largest uh, thing. Uh, um, challenges so because the emperor is now left in the cold he is you know wounded he is lonely he is uh, you know left alone so in the cold so he is anxious and he doesn't know what, how to go along what will bring the future and so this is for a narcissist the perfect situation to take action on and you know to jump in Megan 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 the moon disillusions again with her it's like she has the illusion really to uh, catch William now and here's the queen of pentacles yes the queen of pentacles is Catherine she's not a queen yet but she will become queen and she's a, a Capricorn by the way, uh, belated, uh, did she have birthday? Yes, I think she had it already. Belated happy birthday. The Emperor. So, William and Catherine. So, she sees her rival above the, uh, the Emperor. But she is so delusional. She really thinks when Catherine is gone, that she will catch William. I don't know. Some uh, narcissists are so manipulative. You can't imagine. They really turn everything upside down. And then they are Mother Teresa, you know. The world closing and a circle is ending. For her, because I'm speaking about Meghan Markle, what she's thinking. For her, it's like a new adventure will begin as soon as Catherine is gone. The sun, highlighting everything, healing, being in the center of attention, two major arcanas next to each. So we have the sun, we have the sun and the moon. Mm -hmm. And the last part is, for her, when Catherine is gone, she will be, you know, be the star, live in the Garden of Eden, and everything will be, you know, picture perfect. Very illusional. But that's what she's thinking now. Did you see one uh, card of empathy? Where are the cups? 
no empathy at all. She will try to use the situation to benefit herself. Harry, Harry, be careful. Okay, and uh, William, be very careful. So that was my reading for today. I hope you liked my reading. Uh, I uh, wish you again a uh, happy 2024. And let's uh, send some healing light to Catherine. And also, please like, subscribe, leave a comment. I read your comments. Uh, I'm sorry that I don't answer them all because I work and am very busy and uh, uh, I don't want to complain. A lot of people in the world have it much worse than I have. So no complaining, Pervin. So thank you very much again for watching and see you next time. Bye.